okay so this video i'm going to you know demonstrate uh, how we can calculate you know the man candle uh, i mean how how to implement man candle test so the data you are uh, seeing here since 2001 to 2012 and then this data is a real data uh, you know for minimum temperature in calgary and then the values are given here so by the way uh, before I proceed, I'd like to mention that the formulas like, you know, the signs between the two data pairs, okay, the, how to calculate the value of S and how to calculate the, the variance, JD score, and how to compare against, you know, confidence level, all those, you know, relevant formula from the lecture note I incorporated in the scope of this particular, uh, you know, Excel demonstration, okay. So now let us have a look. Okay, uh, you know, uh, we're supposed to start the sign calculation. So I'm just okay writing here. And before we write, I like to mention that, okay, this one will be fixed. And then we are going to compare with the first one and then each of them downward direction. Okay, so how we are going to do it is like this. Let's say I'm to, going to say ifs, because there are three conditions. If you look here, are here. So I like to incorporate all of them in one shot. So I'm talking, okay, the logical test one. So what that mean is, okay, this one minus this. And then if it is greater than, let's say zero, then I'm going to insert a value one. Then I'm going to write the same thing, D, D5 minus D4, which will be equal to zero, then write zero. And then the last one, so uh, D5 minus D4, and then I'm going to say minus, uh, so sorry, uh, less than zero. So if this is the case, then the outcome will be one. So you see here, so if you take 3.4 minus 2.9, definitely this is plus one. So that's why it is returning one. Okay. And then as we will continue, this one will be fixed and then this one will be, will be, will be, will be, will be, will be sort of okay, changing. So that's why what we are going to do is we are going to put this one, uh, okay, D5 as a dollar sign. And then this one, we are going to fix it so that later on we can, we can change it. So what I'm doing is like this. And then dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. And then I'm going to enter here. And then I'm going to you can drag down to complete the whole thing. And then if you click this one, then you can see that Okay, the first one we compare against the last one. So if you do, okay, another one, let's say over here, then click on the formula, then you can see we are comparing 6.1 with compared to the first one. And then we are going to look into the second pair, okay? So now the second pair we are starting and then we are, you know, making like this. And then over here, what we are doing is, you know, we have to look into, you know, rather than the first one, we need to look into the second one, which the location is D5, by the way. So I'm just changing like this, D5, and then D5, and then I'm going to say this is D5. So by that way, you know, right now, if you click, then you can easily see that it is compared between these two. And then if you drag down, then everything will be calculated. And I'm randomly checking one of the point, which is this one. And then if you click, so then this has been changed and this is compared against the second one, okay? Now let's have a look into the third one. And then the third one, we, we can see that it is comparing this one versus the second one, but now our turn will be to compare against the third one, okay? So if that is the case, then we are going to change this value to six this value to six, and then the other one, this value to six. Okay, so now we need to check, okay, whether we are capturing the right one or not. It seems this is right. And then I'm going to drag these things down, okay? So then we are going to check, let's say this one, and then try to see, okay, with compared to the third one, okay, it is comparing against this particular value. So which is completely right. Then I'm going to do is, okay, this one. And then this one we are going to do is seven. And then I'm going to write seven here. And then we are going to see seven here. And then I'm going to take it down. 
And then now you can at least see that one of the value is zero. So the reason is we are comparing these two. Five minus five is zero. And then according to our uh, you know, way of calculating, it should be zero as well. So it's still okay. So far we didn't encounter any negative, but I think that is coming in the uh, you know coming lines. So this one we are going to change it d8, and then I'm going to do d8, and then I'm going to do d8. Okay, and then I'm going to drag it down, and then try to see okay whether I did right or not. So it seems a yes, I did right. So that I am just escaping this one and then I'm going to the next one. Okay, so this one will be our nine. And then this is going to be our nine. And this is going to be our nine again. Okay, so by that way, you can easily see that now we are comparing these two pair, okay? And then we are going to the LX, you know, end of this particular series. And now you can see that things are coming negative. So one of the negative, let's say this one, if you click, then you can see that it is comparing this, uh, I mean, this minus this. So this is smaller like 5.5 and this is 6.8. So if you do the minusing, then definitely the value will return as minus one as per our sign formula, which is shown on the right side, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to extend this and then change this to 10. And then I'm going to do the 10 and then I'm going to do the 10. So I need to make sure everything is fine. Yes, uh, it does. And then I'm going to take it down and then, you know, I'm going to the next one, which will be 11. And by the way, I'm just skipping, you know, a little bit so that, uh, you know, this video, uh, I mean, can be can be done a little bit quicker. So I'm just checking whether everything is fine or not. So it seems okay, this pair, and then I'm going to drag these things up to the end. And then I'm going to do like this. And then this will be like 12. And then this will be 12 as well. And then this will be 12. And then we are going to do like this. And then I'm going to extend this. And then we are going to say 13. And then this will be 13 again. And then this will be 13 again. So by that way, you know, we can easily see this pair. And then the once I drag it down, then it will compare against eight minus 6.6. Okay, so this is done. And then one of the last one is remaining, which is this. Okay, so up to this, okay, we are completely done. And then we are basically finished this signing part, uh, sign calculation, then we are going to sum, I mean, synthesize all of them. So this is S here. And then if I say sum of all the, you know, one, two, three, four, all of them up to this. So then it's supposed to return a value, which is 42 here. Okay, so S calculation is done. So now have a look into, you know, variance calculation. So we have to calculate N and we have to calculate this T. So n is basically the total number of you know data points. So we can say here n. That means if we if I say count, and then if we if I say okay, how many counts are here? So which will be uh, which will be twelve. So this count is done, and then t one and t two. So if you look very very closely here, then you can easily see that the data pair like five and five. So this is basically one pair. Another pair is 6.8 and 6.8. So, so here is another pair. By the way, this pair seems okay side by side, but if one is here and another is at the bottom, it's fine. So it's still, that is a pair. So then let's say the first pair is T1. So let's say first pair equal to uh, five. And then how many counts are there? So only two. So I'm just putting the two here. And then T2, 
it is like the pair for 6.8 and count is again 2. And then if you look into this particular formulation, so each of the t, we need to calculate this particular in equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, let's say ti, so that means the first one, which is two, then times, okay, bracket, you know, this particular value minus one. Then we are going to say times two times, uh, let's say again two uh, plus, you know, you are going to have five. Okay. So as this t value is two for this one and this one is also two. So eventually if you calculate this, you know, for, for, for this part for the t2, then that will also be exactly the same. And in this particular case, if you click, you can see that the input is basically, you know, this value and, and let's say, okay, if this one is three, I'm just giving an example. So then you can see that this value is changing. Okay. So we are going to put two here. And then, so this part is done. And then the summation of these things, we also need to calculate. So I'm going to say the sum, and then this two will be 36. Okay, so this part is done. And then we need to calculate this particular part, n times n minus one uh, times two n plus five. So that particular one, okay, we can easily calculate over here. So we can say that let's say 12 uh, times, this minus one, maybe, you know, it, it is better to put a bracket times, times two times this 12 again, uh, plus five. Okay. So let's say this value is too big, like a three, uh, 3,828. Then what we are going to do is we are going to come into this variance. So in terms of the variance, what we are going to do is Okay, we are going to look into the first value, which is n times n minus one times two n plus five. Then we are going to do minus, and then we are going to incorporate the pairwise information here. And then we are dividing by 18 because that is our formula here. So eventually this value came 210.667. So up to this is done. Now we are going to calculate ZS and in terms of the ZS, you can see that if the Z is greater than uh, zero, which is 42 in our case, so the first formula we are going to apply. So we are going to say S minus one, so which is, which is this minus one. And then we are going to, you know, put a bracket here, bracket here. And then we are going to say, okay, uh, divided by the square root is QRT root the variance which we have calculated over here and close the bracket and you're done. So now your J is you got 2.824. And now, you know, you come to this particular, you know, table and then you can see that the Z value which is given here is 99% confidence level you got 2.58 and that value is higher than that. So that means, okay, there is a trend exist according to Mankandel test and the trend is basically significant at a confidence level of 99%. And this is the end of this particular, uh, you know, discussion. So what I need to do is I need to, you can stop this video.